My name's Julian, and this is the $1 to $10,000 thrifting challenge. Can you take a four or five to the pelvis? Plenty money going around, I'm not selfish. And the ladies love me, Elvis. <laughs> All right, so as of right now, our balance is this, because we've sold two of the three t-shirts that we've gotten from our first item. Great success. So we've got a little bit of a balance now. So we're gonna hit the thrift and see what we can get today. I'm really excited. I hope we can get up to like maybe five items today. The thrift we're going to is 40% off and usually they have pretty decent prices here. So let's do it. Bro, this front camera is ridiculous. Holy shit, man. That shit is so clear. What the fuck? So Paul Cantu says, wear it and you'll find it. So hopefully we find some uh, Chicago stuff today. Got the Chicago White Sox hoodie on. Community thrift, don't let me down. What'd I say? Wear it and you'll find it. And over here, we got the Erlacher jersey. 9.95, 40% off, probably like four or five bucks, six bucks. And then there was this pretty sick vintage Ferrari shirt and a pretty cool Canada jersey too. But then this random lady literally just ran into my shopping cart. So rude. All embroidered. Take all three of these. You're like jazz. My cart's full as fuck already, and all I've gone through are the shirts. This is a problem. So I ended up taking everything out of my cart, and now I'm gonna show you guys what I found. This Beatles shirt from the early 2000s is actually so clean, and then this Polaroid shirt reminded me of the first shirt from the challenge. I'm gonna come. And then there was some vintage Quicksilver, a modern day Pokemon shirt, and this vintage Hurley Ringer tee is perfection. And I honestly just like the color of this bear shirt. We got that vintage Coca-Cola with the American pride. And then I think I literally found enough Chicago Bears jerseys to start my own team. My favorite pieces from this thrift trip are shown right now, but honestly, I just couldn't do anything with them because of my budget. Like this Logo Athletic Bears jacket is so fire. If it was literally like anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks, I would have 100% bought it because that would have been such a good flip for our challenge. But $60 is outrageous. But we still cashed out and we have enough money to still go to another thrift. All right, so I just got off work and I'm about to hit the thrifts to see if I can find anything to go towards the challenge. The thrifts have been high key taxing lately and it's like honestly sucked. So we'll see what we can get. So I'm at a Goodwill and they're at the peak of scamming. But they did have a few good pieces, but honestly, every shirt was like $6. So it just can't work for our balance right now. Hopefully at the Salvation Army we're about to go to, we can find some more affordable things. And right off the bat, I think our luck is turning around because I found some absolute fire. Make sure to check your polo sections because this Scarface polo is insane. Graphic literally wraps around the whole body. It is perfection. And I did find a few other things worth noting, like this Harley shirt that was $13. And then a Tyson Chandler jersey that was $25. Are you kidding me? We can't escape these crazy prices. And then this shirt was actually really cool. Love the Ninja Turtles. I would have definitely kept that if it was my size. And then we have Roswell shirt, which is like aliens. I thought that was a person, not a place. And then this crew neck was so sick with Goofy on the sleeve. And sometimes I just want to be as bad as I want to be. Several days later. So the reason I'm here today is just to find like a last minute Halloween costume. And I kind of found one, but I figured while I'm here, I might as well look at the tees and what they got, you know? So they got this. What are you? I'm Batman. Which me and my girl were gonna be Batman and Catwoman, but it's really last minute, so I gotta figure out if this will work. I mean, it's pretty funny. It's a large, I hope it fits. But the cart is full. I'm telling you, like, today, there's a lot of stuff. They definitely restocked. Like, the car tees by themselves kind of just went crazy today so we got this like monster truck one k1 speed racing with the back hit this one's pretty sweet then we got this one sweet back hit we got toyota camry sports car that's kind of funny actually that's probably the best one of the bunch and then as far as like cartoon tees they kind of went crazy too with the pokemon tag that one's sweet i pop eye spinach <laughs> front and back mickey mouse i know they're all new school but most of them are new school to be fair but they're actually pretty sweet. You could tell that someone who had like a whole, probably was like a Disney dad, had a whole collection and he uh, got rid of it. Like this one's pretty sweet with the embroidery on it. Tigger. 
Uh, I just love the, the vintage Mickey Mouse stuff. And then this M&M tea is pretty nice, but they got eight bucks on it, kind of tripping. And then some miscellaneous shit. We got 2003 Packers Champions tea on the CSA tag, Freedom tea. I feel like I should know who Wayne Newton is, but I have no idea who this dude is. But it's like a vintage graphic tee. Then we got the Mayweather fighting tee. Mayweather versus Berto. I like the front, but like even the back is pretty sweet. It's got like, it's like the card fight. Um, 2005 World Series White Sox. Someone went vicious on the tag. Okay, if you guys have never been to Chicago during St. Patrick's Day, you need to come. They literally dye the whole river green and it's actually the coolest thing ever. Humo, 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 nuku, 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 pa, 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 pa. <laughs> Bruh, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> and as far as like sweaters, long sleeves, and jackets go, I found this pretty cool like Aztec sweater. And then McDonald's strip kind of goes hard. I don't know why. I think it's all the collabs making it like seem cooler than it is. But like, it's just the logo, I don't know. Then we got US sailing team on the Nautica. Now we got sneakers. So I thought this was like from 1992, apparently it's a movie. And I thought it was about maybe some like shoes or something, but it's literally just about some dudes that are sneaking around or some shit, I think. <laughs> and then I actually found a Bears jacket similar to this one last time I was here. But this one's pretty cool until you look at the fucking price. Actually, 40 ain't bad, but like still nah. Inner tag's kind of cool. Like, I just can't. You just can't. You just can't be 40 for that. I'm sorry. They got some of the craziest jeans I've ever seen. They got Kooji jeans. Look at the back of these, man. They are $30, but I mean, look at the back of these, man. That's full embroidery, bro. What is that? That bag tag is fucking crazy. Those are wild. And then these are pretty sweet too. Why do I not know what brand this is? Oh, it's Rocco wear. I can't justify spending $30 on these, but I don't know, maybe the Kooji ones though. Let me do some research. Yo, this shit low key, like ominous as fuck. Kind of spooky. I've never been here at night. This shit's wild, bro. It's so dark. Yo. Man, what a week of thrifting. I found a bunch of bangers and I ended up buying a bunch of things, but sadly with our $11 balance, I was only able to get a few things. So what's going to count towards the challenge is the Ninja Turtle shirt, the race car tee, and the Pokemon shirt. After buying those three things, our balance is only $1 now. I would love to be able to be in the position to buy more things and keep increasing our balance, but now all I can do is wait for these shirts to sell. And earlier on in this video, we also bought the Beetle shirt, the Hurley shirt, and the other Pokemon shirt. And we still have the Hawaii shirt from episode one. So now I have seven tees listed on my Depop for anyone to buy. And that all started from one singular dollar. Honestly, it's crazy to see the whole thing unfold. If you've enjoyed the series so far and you wanna support the challenge, the link to my Depop is in my description. And if you guys could subscribe and like and all that shit, I would really appreciate it. And I'm just ready to go thrifting again with a big balance so we can get this challenge really going. All right, that's all I got. See you in episode three. Peace.